got my three clay packets, so these wines wrapping characters. So like I made now, it's more like a monster. Uh, hi there, welcome back to Hershey's World. Today I'm making a cool craft out of clay. And then I'll also show you some other of my creations right here. Okay, let's move into this. So these are all my other creations I've made, um, you know, off camera when I was just enjoying making new creations. So the very first one was this birdies. You, you see, these two cute birdies are sitting on the stump. Uh, I don't know how they fit in together. They must be fledgling birdies. And with uh, these wines wrapped around the stump, it looks so beautiful. And this is Julie Man. Nah, it's not Julie Man. It's kind of like that monster you see in uh, Ink. You know, the movie Ink. This is kind of like a mountain scene here with a tiny little house. It's kind of like inhabited with the mountains and there's this um, kind of like small house here the, and also guess what um, it's got a cave and some island and all these blue things in water so I gave some texture to each and everything now these two things that are lying here are two characters and uh, it's a coincidence because both these characters are blue and they can't sit up straight you see they can't stand up Hey, you you can stand up. Why don't you do that? Now, this is a Smurf from the Smurf Village movie. The nose came off and now it looks more like a monster, uh, a, a nightmare, kind of like a nightmare than a, my nightmare monster than a normal creation. This one is Augie, Augie and the Cockroaches. It's a normal kind of like a character you watch all the time. This is the very last one I did. So it's kind of like a cat sitting on a mat, like you know the cat beds where it goes to sleep. I'm not really good with pets because I don't have one. Um, and the face is messed up as you see. That's it. Let's get into the process of clay modeling. So here's the package. So I got my three clay packets. Um, you see, it's actually kind of like um, you get three whole clay packets in one. And it's so cool. You, even if you run out of some, you can use the other one. And if you run out of this, you can use this one. So like all these are, are, are kind of like useful. And they also give, oh my gosh, this one's already torn up. Is, I wonder if it's me because I was like gripping into the packet like like a monster tearing apart a human body. So let's get into the clay model. Let's go to the baby track. So here's the package, I completely ripped open the package and now I found all the clay packets. Oh, I just remember the soft feeling I got last time when I used it. Okay, you see this comes with three tools. One is kind of like some kind of like a knife that you can use to cut up nicely. And it's kind of like a rough one, which you can use for texture. And I don't know what this thing is, but anyway, whatever it is. And this one's kind of like a dotting tool. So like if, if you've, um, like this mountain part, like here, it's pr pretty deep. So like I use this and I kind of like um, squish the clay back and I use the black clay. And like I, I, I use, I flattened out the black clay and pushed it inside. So now it looks like it's pretty deep while it's actually not. So this way we can use the dotting tool. We can even use it for the faces like this and make sure it's not creepy, like with black, dark voids linking through the play face. So I made it, made the bunny that way, which really looks creepy. So this time I'll try to make it more nice. 
So then um, at the end of this one, we've also got a scraper. Like, I don't know why this is even why they gave this. Because, like, there's no use. I mean, it can only be used for satisfaction or something. I don't know. I'm not an artist. You can't expect more from me. I just learned. I mean, I'm, I'm just a fledgling little bird that just learned to, um, you know, um, you know, make clay models. Oh, man. Anyway. So let's get into the clay. Okay, so I put aside my clay packets here. So like, at first you just got to, ah, uh, come on, open up! <laughs> Sorry for the noise, can't help myself. Whoa, this looks like cream. Sorry again. <laughs> I can't keep track of my manners! Whoa. Look at that. It looks so creamy and delicious. Mmm. Looks like snow. I just want to eat it. Not like I will eat snow. I used to when I was little, probably. I don't know how. But like, it was so creamy. So here's the body of the little rabbit. Now I'm going to use this chunk which I took out from the rabbit, you know, just to get the head. So like now I'm just going to roll up this and turn it into a head. body except the limbs um, then I'll get to the details and stuff so I, I like the way I use pink in the ear so like you see sometimes the, the um, rabbits you know the cuter ones in the cartoons will have nice and pink little what should I say inner side of the ear which is disgusting for us but really cute for the um, other rabbits and I used as you saw, I used the tools for, uh, you know, this dotting tool to kind of like just press it in. And then now I'm going to make the limbs and then I'll get into the details like the face, facial details, the little belly with the kind of like the pinky mark. I'm going to use the same color, which is this one, for the belly too. Then the little tiny paws of the, of the cute little rabbit. So let's get into this. Even the limbs are done, the, even the tiny little 
uh, tail. I gave some tiny little textures. Um, it almost looks like a cotton ball than a tail. So like, I'll just give a bit more texture to it. There. Now the tail looks like a tail and there aren't limbs and body. Everything looks like a rabbit. That does not make sense at all. Like just imagine this limb is a rabbit and this one's also a rabbit and this one's also a rabbit poking out of a big rabbit. Just imagine how ter terrifying and creepy it would be. Ooh. Now I can now it's time for me to get to the details like the eyes, the nose, the little tummy and the little paw and you know for the arms like oh dear I miss the little crevices it has you know the little bunny crevices just gotta add those to the toes too and done now the bunny is so cute although the head is a bit tiny i feel but it's okay So I'm done with the bunny, which turned out to be a nice success, although I messed up and it almost looked like it got burned all over the face. <laughs> it got burned all over the face, got a fracture on its eye, it got a bruise on its eye, it fractured its arm and all that happened. And also got a mustache at the end, which I took off. <laughs> so all this happened to the bunny and now it's, uh, it's a success. So. Um, I just took off the whole head and I had to replace it with the other head. I did it off camera and now it looks better, better than the catastrophe it was. And now it's an even bigger catastrophe because I, I just completely squished it up and um, blended it up into a big mess. And now, now that it has dried up, it can go into the trash. Now I've also made the which is completely flattened out like anything and the, these are the flowers that I also added a rose to the to the grass and all that so this is that's it for today so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can check out my new videos and I don't know maybe this this could be a series in the future so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can check out all my wonderful videos on clay, art, and all other stuff you can ever find. Bye!